Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to construct a two-point perspective grid where the vanishing points are off the page. This method is called as the Brewer method. Now, when you construct a grid where the, where the vanishing points are on the page, bigger size objects, they tend to look a bit distorted. To overcome this problem, we need to construct a proper two-point perspective grid where the vanishing points are off the page. And in doing so, you can draw objects which are of decent size with less distortion. So let's see how it's done. The first step in creating this perspective grid is to drop in a vertical and think of it like the front edge of a cube once we have that we are going to draw a line which goes to the left vanishing point and we're going to draw two lines which converge to the right vanishing point so make sure that these two lines are not parallel to each other they should converge to a vanishing point of the page once we have these lines the next step is to draw a vertical line as far away as possible from this vertical line which we have already drawn so i'll just go ahead and draw a vertical line which is over here once we have established that let us draw a horizontal line from these two corners right now i'll just go ahead and name these corners over here this name a b c d and e so from the point e i'm going to drop another vertical line and i'll call this f now what we need to do is divide these three vertical lines in the in equal proportions one easy way of doing this is just grab a piece of paper measure the height of this and i'll just fold it in half crease the crease the length and another crease over there so by doing so i i can divide this line in quarters so one two three and four now these two lines also should be divided in quarters you can divide all the three lines in thirds also it's there is no rule that they have to be divided in quarters but whichever measurement you choose they have to be the same for all the three lines so for this line, I'm going to do the same thing. Crease it here and crease it here. And that's it. Since this these two angles are 90 degrees, uh, this, this length and this length are going to be the same. So I can use the same measurement over here. This and this. So now that we have divided the lines, all that we need to do is grab a straight edge and connect these dots over here. So first I'll just extend 
this line at the bottom and I will just use a pen for this yes and from this point to this point and just continue joining these points now what we have drawn essentially are a set of lines which converge to the right vanishing point the same thing we can do for the lines converging to the left vanishing point so we are going to take the same intersection points on this vertical and join the divisions on the on the vertical that we have created on the left side so first I'll just extend this one and All right, notice how all these lines, they converge to a single vanishing point that is off the page. Now, if you want to just extend this grid a bit down or towards the top, all we have to do is just extend these vertical lines and just take the same measurements um, I guess this one uh, or else you can just use a, a scale for this so it's about uh, 1.8 so somewhere over here here and we can do the same for these two verticals as well so it's 1.5 exactly yeah and it will be the same over here as well once we have these additional set of points we can just go ahead and connect these Yeah, now we have a perfect grid which is in two point perspective whose vanishing points are off the page. Now whatever you draw using this grid, it won't be distorted. That is the main intention and you can draw bigger size objects. Now again, if you want to extend this further or divide this further, one easy way other than uh, what I did earlier of extending these lines is uh, say you know you maintain equal amount of distance from here to here and say over here and also what the distance you have over here roughly the same distance I can just extend the line like this so I think that's it we have a proper grid and if you just go ahead and erase all these construction lines we have 
a perfect grade in two point perspective this grid can be used as an underlay for all your drawings uh so just you can just uh, take a black uh, black ink of about 1 mm diameter and you can just darken these lines so that it is visible clearly when you keep this underneath a uh, regular drawing sheet so you can go ahead and darken all these lines to make them uh, clearly visible as possible so that's it for this for this tutorial i'm going to see you in my next one i hope you understood thank you so much for watching and see ya bye bye